friends, Maya here from My Storybook, and welcome back to our interactive read-alouds. Today's featured interactive read-aloud is The Little Eye Who Lost His Dot. Oh. Now, my friends, if you remember from our read-aloud on Wednesday, this book is part of the same series. So we're going to be reading and learning about letters and about the alphabet. If you remember on Wednesday, we were learning about punctuation marks, and they went to alphabet school with the little letters. Well, today, our story is going to be about the little letters, especially this one little letter, the letter... I. And for this read aloud, my friends, we are going to be learning and talking about the different letters of the alphabet and the sounds that they make. It's going to be important to know those things. What are the name of the letters in the alphabet and what sounds they make? So before we get started, let's just quickly review the letters of the alphabet. And if you noticed, we were talking about little i, so we are going to be looking at the little letters or the lowercase letters of the alphabet and what they look like. My friends, do you know how many letters there are in the alphabet? <gasps> well, if you don't know or if you do know, let's double check and count together. Are you ready? Let's start with the first letter. What's the first letter? A, right? Let's count how many first and then we'll say the names of them. Ready? Let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, and twenty. Six. There are 26 letters all together. And these ones, again, are the lowercase ones. There's the little letters, and then there's the tall uppercase capital letters. But we're talking about the little ones right now because they're still in school. The big capital grown-up letters are already done with school. And if you notice, they are all in different colors, these letters, except for one. Which letter stands out, doesn't fit in? That's right, there's one letter in black. And what letter is that letter? I, it's a little I. And why do you think I put the I in black? Right, because our story is about little I. So I just made it a little different to point it out. Okay, well, let's see if you remember the names of the letters. And if you want to sing the alphabet along with me, because it'll help you remember all the names, then go ahead. Are you ready? In three, two, one. One. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, and Z. Now I know my ABCs. Next time won't you sing with me? And you did sing with me, so excellent job. All right, so that's all 26 little letters of the alphabet. This is how to write them in lowercase. And if you know how to write it in uppercase, my friends, I challenge you to write the whole alphabet in uppercase letters. And if that's easy peasy for you, then I challenge you to see how fast you can do it. All right, I wonder who is going to have the record for the fastest they are able to write the alphabet in uppercase letters. And if you need an extra challenge, see if you can write uppercase and lowercase letters and how fast you can do it. <gasps> that would be a challenge. All right, well, I also wanted to show you one more thing back here. I have this, well, do you know what it is? An orange, but it's not just an orange. <laughs> For this interactive read aloud, this is going to be my little dot. For the little eye. So you know how the title of our book was The Little Eye Who Lost His Dot? Well, this is going to be my dot. If you want to grab an orange, my friends, or a, any kind of object that's a circle or a sphere and have that be your dot for the story, you can go ahead and grab one. So just pause the video here if you'd like to grab one. All right. Well, if you have your dot, go ahead and just hold it over your head like this because it's your little dot. Excellent. And I'm going to put mine to the side for right now, but you can hold on to yours as we read our story. So I had mentioned that not only do we need to know the names of the letters, but the sounds the letters make. Because we're going to be thinking about some words that start with that letter. 
And to know what words start with that letter, we have to know what sound that letter makes. So I want you to get your thinking caps ready as we read this story and find out what in the world happened to Little Eyes Dot. Double thumbs up if you're ready to go. Awesome, let's get started. The title of today's featured read aloud is The Little Eye Who Lost His Dot. Written by Kimberly Gard and illustrated by Sandy Sonke. So remember, these are the same author and illustrator as the other book we read, The Punctuation Family, because these books are part of the same series. And the series is called Language is Fun. <laughs> and it's also published by the same publisher, Familius Books. Now let's go ahead and take a quick look at the cover and what do you notice? Yeah, what does it look like the setting is, my friends? Where are they? What do you see in the background? That's right, it looks like they're at school maybe because I see this playground here, this building. And remember in the day the punctuation came to town, they went to school too. I'm wondering if this is the same school. Looks a little bit the same. And I see some other letters on the cover besides just I. What other letters do you see? That's right, I see an R and a V over here. And oh, one more, almost missed this one. Did you catch it? Who's this one over here? And X, that's right, an X. So here's little I, and how is I feeling, my friends? Look at its face. Looks a little worried, right? And why might I be worried? Because he lost his dot. Title kind of gives us a clue, huh? And I think it's kind of cool how they made the dot and the I be the O in the word dot. All right, my friends. Well, what do you think happened to little I's dot? Where do you think he lost it? Well, let's find out. Here's our title page, has the title of our book, The Little Eye Who Lost His Dot, our author and illustrator, and who published it, Familius Books. And over here, it has a little picture again, and what do you notice over here, my friends? What is going on? I see the letter I, but does he have his dot? No, I mean, this kind of looks like his dot, but what is it? It's a balloon, right? It's not his dot, but it looks like, what letter is this? B, the little letter B is holding a balloon. A B balloon. Oh. B is holding a balloon, maybe trying to help the little eye find his dot. Hmm. Well, it looks kind of close, but not quite the dot, right? Looks like someone's getting up out of bed. I see an alarm clock over here, my friends. How did you wake up in the morning? Do you use an alarm clock or someone wakes you up? Ooh. When I was little, my mom used to wake me up, but now I have an alarm clock. And if I look at here, I see those music notes mean the alarm clock's ringing, making sound in. What sound is it making? Do you recognize these letters in this order? I see an A, B, C, T, E, F. Kind of looks like it's singing the alphabet song to wake him up. That seems fitting, right? That fits for a little letter. Okay, well, let's read the words. Well, it looks like it starts with these letters up here, the alarm clock sound. Can you read these words with me, my friends? We're going to sing it to the tune of the alphabet song. Are you ready? It stops with G in three, two, one. A, B, C, D, E, F, G. The alarm clock rang to the alphabet song. Little I sat up. So sit up straight, my friends. Stretch, stretch your body. Rubbed his eyes. Rub, rub, rub. Last day of alphabet school, he said. Well, last day of alphabet school. So there he is. How does he feel about the last day of school? Probably pretty excited. How do you feel about the last day of school? Yeah. And I see his dot. Do you see his dot? Where is it? It's right there on the pillow next to him, right? Hmm, so there it is. He hasn't lost it yet. He still has it. But wait a second. I'm looking at this picture and do you see the little eye? Point to the little eye. And what do you notice is missing? His dot! He just had it this morning! Where could it be? Oh, 
Oh my goodness, any guesses? Well, let's see. He saw his letter friends on the playground and hurried to join them, went very quickly to go join them. Little G gasped. Oh, that means to go like you're surprised. Little P pointed and little S stared. Now, did you notice that, my friends? That everything that those letters did started with the same letter that they are. Like little G. G makes what sound? G, G for gasped. And P makes a what sound? P, P for pointed. And S makes a S for stared. Ready, my friends? Let's try to gasp, point, and stare all in a row. Are you ready? Three, two, one. <gasps> <laughs> nice job, friends. Little I, they said, where is your dot? So there's G, P, and S. What other letter friends do you see? Yeah, I see Y, R, V on the swings. Little X is still over there. Uh-oh, looks like little I's looking for his dot. Little I looked up. Look up, my friends. Ain't no dot there. He looked left. Look left, my friends. He looked left. Look left, my friends. No dot there. He looked to the right. Look right, my friends. No dot there. But his dot was gone. What will you do without your dot? Little A asked. Little W whimpered. Made it kind of sad. Sound like, oh. My friends, can you try to do a little whimper? Like a little, oh. Like a little puppy whimpering. Little H handed W a hanky. So again, my friends, these letters are doing things that start with the letter that they are. A asked H handed a hanky W whimpered. All of the letters crowded around little I. Don't worry, they said. We will help you find a new dot. Oh, that is so kind. What helpful friends. And how does little I feel when all his friends come to help? Feels kind of better, right? He was a little sad before, but now he's like, oh, my friends are going to help. So it seems like they are all going to try to find something new to be little eyes dot. My friends, when they're looking for something, what shape are they trying to look for to be the little eyes dot? What shape is that dot? A circle, right? So they are going to try to find something that's a circle shape or a sphere shape. A sphere means it's 3D, like a ball. You can pick it up and feel all the way around it. It's kind of like a circle or a sphere ball shape. So that's what they're looking for. I wonder what they're going to find. My friends, if you had to find a new dot for I, what would you use to be the new dot? What object? Those are good ideas. I'm thinking maybe like a basketball or an orange like this one back here. So if you have your little pretend dots, my friends, you can hold them over your head and pretend that's your new dot. Oh, well, it looks like they're back inside the classroom. And this kind of reminds me of the same classroom from the punctuation story on Wednesday, huh? The school bell rang. It was time to make words. Remember how they did that in school in the other story? All the little letters scrambled into school. But Little Eye's friends did not forget their plan. When they got to the classroom, the letters looked around. So what are they looking for? A new dot for I. And my friends, I want you to take a close look and see what letter it is and what item they are looking at. Ooh, did you notice something? So D is over here, and D, the letter D, makes what sound? D, D. And D is looking at donuts, D for donuts. Oh, and donuts are circled, shaped, and round, huh? And I see this letter C here, and what is C looking at? The clock, k, k, clock for the letter C. And real quick over here, it says, last day of school party on the chalkboard. Oh, here's that balloon. Looks like nobody's found it yet, but what letter do you think might use balloon? B, like at the beginning of the book. I see this looks like a lowercase l over here, and she's holding a block, but block doesn't start with l, but I notice that on the block is a heart. What word might start with l that has to do with hearts? Makes a ooh sound at the beginning. Love for l. 
Little F over here is holding a flower. Ooh, and I see R over here found something special. What did they find? A ring. All of these things are round objects that start with the different letters that maybe little I could use. Okay, well, let's see, my friends. We are going to see what each of the letters found. And I want you to notice that everything that they found starts with the letter that they are. Even think in your heads, what are some other objects that start with that letter that maybe little I could use? Hmm. Well, little A asked, how about this acorn? His acorn's kind of round. Hmm. Little B burst forward with a balloon. B for balloon. And oh, just like in the other picture. Little C cried. Try on this clock. And little D, what did little D find? Donuts. Little D dashed over with some donuts. So notice again, my friends, that each of the words also do something that starts with their same letter. Little B burst, little D dashed, little C cried, little A asked. Wow, the author was really careful when they wrote all of these sentences with these letters. And looking at this picture, what did little F and little E find? A flower and an egg. But if I look over here, does little I like his choices so far? Not really. Little E exclaimed, an egg is exactly what you need. Ooh, with an exclamation point at the end. Yes. Little F followed with a flower. And right here I see G and H. And what did G and H find? Yeah, do you know what this is? Little G giggled. <laughs> he laughed when he found a gumball. Ooh, a little tiny dot. And little H handed over a hula hoop. But does the hula hoop work? No, it's a little too big, right? Mm. Ah, look at these letters and their ideas, my friends. Go ahead, take a look at the pictures. What do you notice that they found? Use the letter sound to give you a clue if you're not sure what the picture is. So J makes what sound? J, J. Little J joked, how about a jumping bean? Boing, boing, boing. Is that going to work out? Why not? I might just jump away. Well, little K knew the answer. Ooh, that's a tricky word because it starts with a K, knew, but you don't hear that K sound. It's a silent K for knew, that word knew right here. Like, I knew that. Little K knew the answer. Uh, do you know what this is? What fruit it is? A kiwi. Kiwis are all fuzzy and brown on the outside. Have you had a kiwi before? Do you like them? I like kiwis. Well, little L lit the line with a light bulb. And little M made her way over with a marble. Now, my friends, I want you to pretend that you were little I and pretend you had to choose one of these choices on the page. Which one would you choose? Interesting choice. <laughs> okay, what about these letters? What do you see? Remember, use the sound the letter makes to give you a clue to what they found. Wonder if little I's gonna like any of these choices. Well, over here we have a little N. What sound does N make? N. N, -n. Little N nodded to a music note. And little O opted for an oyster shell. Ooh, and what's inside that oyster? A pearl. Little P presented a pretzel. And this is a little Q, my friends. What coin does he have in his hands? And little Q questioned, how about this quarter? So all of these things are round. They start with their different letters. Do you think little I's gonna like any of these ones? Maybe not, but he's running out of choices, right? There's not that many letters left in the alphabet. Ooh, all sorts of different things here, my friends. And I see that little I has some different feelings going on here, too. Well, first of all, what different items did his letter friends bring this time? Some spooky ones, huh? Well, little R raced over with a ring. Ah, 
but he's going so fast, little eyes like, slow down, man. And oh, what did S find? A spider? How does little eye feel? Ah, get it away from me. That's not gonna work. Little S scared him with the spider, and little T thought a thumbtack would do. Ooh, you think that one's gonna work? Might be kind of dangerous because it's sharp and pointy. Now this word, little t and thumbtack, is another tricky one because the t that starts thumbtack doesn't make a t, t sound. T and h together make a th, th sound for thumbtack. My friends, can you say thumbtack? Thumbtack. And oh, there's a thumbtack, right? Ouch, can be harmful. And what does you find? Umbrella. Little you urged him to carry an umbrella. We are getting down to the last letters, my friends. I see these two letters here. What are they? X and Y. And I know Y is the letter right before the last letter of the alphabet. So, hope I finds a choice he likes. Little V ventured forward with a valentine. Oh, full of love. How does little I feel about that? He thinks that one's sweet, but don't think he chooses that. What does W find? A wheel. Little W walked over with a wheel. And, oh, do you know what this is called, my friends, for little X? It's called a xylophone. Can you say that? Xylophone. It's a type of musical instrument. Have you used this before? Yeah, well, you take the little stick that he's holding and you tap the little bars there and they make musical sounds. Little X says, Extra special idea was a xylophone mallet. So this is the xylophone mallet. Little Y yelled, wear this yo-yo. And then the last letter of the alphabet. What is the last letter of the alphabet, my friends? Z. And what does Z have? Give you a hint, it's a number. Zero. Little Z always last because Always lost on the alphabet. Zoomed over with a zero. And so here are all the different choices little I has. And does it look like he found one he likes? How is he feeling? He'd be a little overwhelmed. Overwhelmed means you have so many choices you don't know what to do. And you might not even like all your choices you have. Little I tried them all on, but nothing felt right. Because it's not his. Thought. Oh, yeah, yeah. What do you think he's going to do? Oh, looks like it's the end of the school day. And look at my friends. I don't see just little letters on this page. I see some capital letters, some big letters here. So look at little R has the capital R. Little Q has the capital Q. Little T has the capital T. When school ended, all the little letters went out to where their parents were gathered. Little I saw his father and <laughs> sniffed back tears. I lost my dot. Oh, poor little I. <sighs> what do you think dad's going to say? Maybe. <gasps> Wait a minute. What's that that dad has? Dad has little I's dot? <gasps> Do you remember that? It looks like little I just left his dot on his pillow this morning. Remember we saw it? <gasps> ha! Huh, so it's been there all along. Silly little I. My friends, were any of you thinking that? That maybe he just left it there? Maybe. But wait. Let's see what dad has to say. Capital I smiled. So remember, our uppercase bigger letters are capital letters. No, little I, you didn't lose your dot. You left it on your pillow this morning. I brought it along, but since today is the last day of school and you're all grown up, I'm not sure if you need it anymore. What do you think? Wait, he doesn't need his little dot. What's he gonna do if he doesn't have his dot? Little eyes need to have a dot. Otherwise, they just look like little bells. That are short. Hmm. Well, says little I, do you really think I'm ready to be a big I? So not a little I anymore, but a big I. Do big eyes have dots? They do not, right? Big Daddy I doesn't have a dot. Capital I nodded. Stretch out your arms and point out your feet. 
he said. And what shape is little eye going to be if he stretches out his arms? My friends, you try to stretch out your arms. Point out your feet. So turn your feet out so that they're pointed like this. What shape is that going to make? You can kind of see it in the shadow if you stretch out your arms at the top and you point out your feet. He oh, looks like a capital I. Little I did, and when he saw his shadow on the ground, he smiled. Dad, I look just like you. I can start a sentence now. Oh, whoa. Because what letters do you need to start a sentence, my friends? A capital letter. You always have to start a sentence with a capital letter. That is the rule when you are writing your own sentences. Don't forget. And now, if you need a capital I at the beginning of your sentence, little I here, or big I here, I should say, can help you out. Eyes are special too because they can be capital in the middle of a sentence when you're talking about yourself. Like, one day I went here, or did you know that I know how to swim? Hmm. So little I was looking for his dot all day, but does he need it in the end? Why not? Because it's the last day of school. He's ready to grow up and be a big capital I and learn about starting sentences, not just making words. The end, my friends. Well, my friends, we talked about so many words and letter sounds today and even about capitalization, capital letters and big letters. What was your favorite part of this story? My favorite part was seeing all the different items that the different letters found and seeing how clever the author was in matching the words with the letter, right? We got to see a whole bunch of words that started with every single letter of the alphabet. And they were all pretty creative finding things to help little Dot, right? There's an object that's round that starts with every single letter of the alphabet, huh? Something to help out little I. Well, I hope you enjoyed this story, and I hope that it got your brains thinking about different words that start with different letters. Because I don't have this craft ready yet, but if you check back in in a few days, there's going to be a new My Storybook craft where you're going to get to make your own little I who lost his Dot booklet. You can also find new crafts on my blog, mystorybook.com. I share them on Instagram, Facebook, or you can also email me and subscribe to my storybook blog to get the newsletters that have all the new crafts in there too. I always send those out to let you all know. All right, all the social media links can be found down below, so check them out. Also, be sure to subscribe to my Storybook YouTube channel to keep up with all of these interactive read-alouds. There is a new book coming out in this series that I can't wait to get and share with you soon. It's not out yet, but as soon as it does come out, I will be sure to share that reading adventure with you, too. These books are so fun. Okay, friends, well, next week is actually my birthday week, so I have some super fun birthday themed read alouds planned for you so please stay tuned and check back in sometime next week if you're subscribed to my storybook you can easily find the new read alouds but until then i hope you have a lovely rest of your day i hope you go on plenty of your own reading adventures please share them with me i love to hear about them and until next time stay safe and healthy enjoy this time with your family and happy reading <laughs>